So if the uh, query is a load of rubbish and doesn't make sense, um, even if it does return, well, it wouldn't return because it would fail, but um, query success doesn't necessarily mean it's returned any rows. Uh, it just means that it's uh, structured properly and it's and it's run correctly. So let's just test this first of all. You'll see that we've got all oh, query failed. Okay, so um, let's see what could be wrong. Ah, okay, I've included this extra comma here, which I didn't mean to. Um, so now let's refresh query success. But now you can obviously see if we do something like an extra comma. Um, or say we don't include an extra little uh, apostrophe on there, we'll return a query failed. So you'll know now if your query has worked or not. What you can also do is if the query has failed, you can return the specific error. So what we can do is echo MySQL um, error, and that is of... Um, query run. So what we can do is we can refresh and this is success however if we do something like add an extra comma in and we refresh we get this MySQL, oh no not valid okay yeah sorry um, there we go so you don't need to supply an argument in here it's just MySQL error and what this will do is this will pick up the error from the last query run so else echo MySQL error now let's read this you have an error in your SQL syntax check the manual that corresponds near uh, corresponds to your MySQL server version for the right syntax to use near from food order by ID so that's the rest of it so what we can determine is just before from food we've got this comma so we can delete that we can refresh and our queries worked so now that our queries worked we need to grab the data um, of our query and display it so the best way to do this would be to use a loop because we have multiple rows to return if you look we've got pizza and salad Query is just going to return, if you were to just echo out the values, it's just going to return uh, one of the rows. But what we want to do is we want to return all of the rows. So we do this using a while loop. And inside our condition for the while loop, we need to reassign a variable, well, we need to assign a variable, and we need to create an associative array from our results. Now remember, an associative array, um, contains a, a key which is in a textual form and a value in this case an, an, an um, associative array returned from this the keys will be ID food calories and healthy and unhealthy or in the case of our query we're just selecting food and calories so our associative array will contain the, the key food and calories and the value will be each one of these so well it'll be this one first then this one so we can then return them in a loop so what I want to do is I want to say while row equals mysql fetch it's said asoc I guess but we're actually this is actually short for associative so mysql fetch associative and we reference the query that's been run so we've executed our query here here what we're doing is grabbing an associative array of our data and assigning it to the array um, that's named row. Okay, we'll even call this query row. So query row is now an array because we've grabbed our data from our query as an associative array and put it into this variable. Okay, so now let's see what happens when we run the code and it will be nothing. So nothing's happened, so we haven't failed but we've created this while loop in which we can echo out the data from each row. Now how do we do this? Usually for best practice I reassign the variables. So what I do is I say food equals and I and we need to now take an element of the array. So we need to say query row food. And I'll do the calories and then I'll explain this.
Okay, so we've got a variable now called food and we've got a variable called calories and they're both equal to the reference of this array. Remember, we're using square brackets and because it's an associative array, array we're taking the value from the field name food and the field name calories. So this food here and this calories here correspond to this and that. The first time around this loop, food is going to equal pizza and calories is going to equal 1000. The second time around this loop, remember because we're using a while loop, food is going to be equal to salad and then calories is going to be equal to 200. So all we do now, uh, let's run it first to make sure we don't have any errors. Always good to check as we go along. Nope, no errors returned. So let's say echo food, a break. In fact, no, we can say food has calories. So we're just basically um, concatenating on text between our variables. So, and then we can break down. So the first time around the loop, we're gonna say food has calories, calories. So this will be pizza has 1000 calories. The second time around the loop, we say salad has 200 calories. So let's just test it out and see if everything's working. Okay, so now for the first time that you can, you can see that the query has returned the data we're looping through each of the rows that have been returned by our query and we're echoing out the results. So now, essentially what we've done is taken data from our database via PHP. Now what we can do is change our query around slightly so we can um, retrieve different information. So for example, at the moment this is pizza first, then salad. Now what happens if I want to order it by ID, as we've already seen, I want salad to come first, then pizza, I want the last added row to come first. So that's simple, we just modify our query up here. Order by ID descending. So we're ordering in descending value. Let's come back to our PHP page and refresh. And you can see, oh no, we've got an error. So, okay, order by Oh yeah, sorry, okay, I've duplicated this. We've ordered by ID, but we want to order now by descending. So order by your ID descending. Let's refresh. 